And welcome back, everyone, to Between Bells on Chatter. I'm Baker Machado. After months of delays and uncertainty, Disney's iconic live-action remake of Mulan has finally been released on Disney Plus and some theaters as well today. So joining us now is one of the stars of the film, June Yu. June, great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. You're helping bring one of the most beloved Disney animations to life. We're all so excited to watch it. What did it mean for you to finally get cast in this film, especially because this is your first role in a big major film? Yeah, uh, actually, it's not even just my first role. It's I was it was actually my first audition ever, my first professional one. So it was one of the craziest things. So to have gotten this role is truly a blessing, and I'm honored. I mean, that's a pretty good audition, June. If you're if it's your first audition ever, and you're getting it, so you have to write a book on like tips on doing great in your full your first audition. But you play the, <laughs> you play the character Cricket, which we remember obviously from the the cartoon. That is an animal in the film. You're not an animal in this one, are you? Tell us a little bit about your character in this. Yes, so uh, I play Cricket, and he is, yes, to clear up any confusion, he is not an insect. It's not my face on an insect. It's more of like a, I'm more of a soldier, a character who has a lot of innocence and joins up with Mulan, and, you know, we kind of kick butt, and just that, in the third. <laughs> <laughs> was it difficult to see a lot of the changes that you probably remember watching the cartoon version as a kid and you probably already have this idea of what it's supposed to look like when you're going and acting in this do you have any sort of preconceived notions on how you want it to be portrayed based on seeing it before does it make it harder as an actor knowing what it looked like before yeah uh, a little bit i mean i think our director had a very good sense and direction of where she wanted to go and so it made it very easy and very clear to follow her vision um but originally watching the original film um for me it helped out a lot to really grab the essence of cricket who in the animated film and in this one has a lot of innocence and purity and that's what i really wanted to bring forth from the animated one uh, to this one so yeah i mean it's great <laughs> I, I've also heard though, June, there's no songs in it, which by the way is a little weird with a Disney movie, no music in it whatsoever, but that's totally fine. What other sort of differences would people realize when they watch this compared to when they watch the animated version? Um, well, with this film, I think that there's something with, you know, that everybody's gonna love. Uh, the, you know, fans that original, that love the original animation are gonna love this film and people who've never even heard of Mulan or the story of the Ballad of Mulan are gonna just love this. And so I'm just really excited for everybody to check it out and just see how much work and love, sweat, tears uh, we put into this. Uh, and June, let's talk about those battle scenes because the battle scenes just from what we see in the trailer look intense, amazing, all of that. H how did you prep for that? Did you have to go under like insane like training for that? What what happened with the battle scenes? Um, they So they flew us out, I want to say a few months before shooting to various locations to practice training and everything. Uh, so riding horses, archery, military training. We did it all. Everything you see in the film, we've done it all. So it was it was some hard, hard training. Uh, I cried after a couple um, workouts on horseback rides. Um, so it was it was pretty it was pretty fun, an emotional journey for sure. I can only imagine. And you would, the other thing that's so crazy about all this June is the pandemic obviously has thrown the entire system out of whack. A lot of people probably don't even remember you had a premiere for Mulan like back in like March, like February or March. So you've just been like waiting for this day for so long. What has it been like just waiting for this moment for this film finally to come out for audiences to see it, even though you've done all the press and all of the junkets and all that stuff like eight months ago? Uh, as, I think as you can imagine, it's a little chaotic um, because it's kind of like after the premiere, I pretty much was done thinking about the film um, until it came out. But because it was prolonged for so long, it was just the only thing on my mind the entire time. And so, you know, I'm just here happy that, you know, everybody can watch the film safely and with their family and stuff like that and their loved ones. June, will it be different watching it from home? Obviously, I'm, I love now watching so many movies now from home, but we expect big budget things like Mulan on a big screen. Can audiences expect it being different when they're watching it from their couch? Uh, absolutely. I think, you know, 
uh, an experience that a theater brings is completely different. Um, unless you have a theater at home, then that's totally different. But I really think that a theater immerses yourself. There's no distractions and this, that. And so I, you know, I really, I really think it will kind of affect the film, but even watching it from home, it's still going to be gorgeous and still going to be lovely. And, um, you being with your loved ones is probably the most important thing anyway, and get to enjoy this film and, you know, just be happy. Uh, we know some of your work from Fresh Off the Boat, one of my favorite shows out there. Is it is it weird as an actor to uh, get prepared from a funny comedy to, you know, a, a drama action adventure sort of thing? Is it difficult for you as an actor or is that easy for you? Um, I wouldn't say it's difficult or easy. It's two different genres. So, you know, it's kind of the same. It, the preparation was a little similar, but yeah, I think if... In terms of working, I really enjoy film. It takes more time in the creative process, but TV is also fun. And so uh, I'm really excited to be on anything TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're be all, I know so many people that are so beyond excited to spend $30 this weekend to watch Mulan. We're all just dying to watch it. Uh, Jun Yu, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on all the success on all this. And of course, you can stream Mulan right now on Disney+. Plus.